Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy. I'll send you back with another video today. We in here. Look, Madden, Madden 25. Look, it's kind of like the same game. I'm going to be honest with y'all. But I was kind of torn between the two teams that I want to do. I feel like the fucking Falcons will just be a lot more fun to play with. I'm going to be honest. But I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos because I feel like a lot of people are not really doing event in Denver. And I, I like Bo Nix, you know. Um... As y'all remember from the mock draft that I was saying, we could have got, you know, both of them, but it probably wouldn't happen that way anyways. But, um, so, yeah, so, the Broncos, see what they got. Um, we are going to make our own custom coach because they don't have uh, that boy uh, Sean Payton in there. So, we're going to be a team builder. And, yeah, I'm going to do the coach customization. Apparently, you can be a woman. So, I might make a woman coach because why not? That'd be fun. Here's the coach. Here, here she is. Uh, money, money, money. Jones. It's her. You know what I'm saying? Money Jones, and she's gonna be the first woman to ever be the head coach and win. You know, win a, win a Super Bowl. I don't know how many years it's gonna be, but we gonna. Okay, bro. Can you like focus up, bro? I don't know how many years it's gonna be, but she gonna figure it out and she gonna get in there. Let's get it. I'm now Money Jones. I like this. It's different. I ain't gonna lie. It's different. That's kind of why I like it. Money Jones. She in here though. Let's go. Uh, we gotta do the lead settings though. Make sure everything good. We got all Madden six minute quarters. Accelerated clock off. Should be good there. Full control for the experience. Auto progress off. Auto pro talents off. Progress talents. I'm gonna have to make sure I keep up on those for sure. Trade deadline on. Oh. We see injuries mm, off practice injuries definitely off we're gonna leave pre existing injuries on uh progress fatigue off and draft timer um i'm gonna turn that off just because i like to take my time sometimes when i'm drafting and i be i tend to pause it anyway so other than that yeah let's get into it first week broncos we're gonna do the uh preseason training camp stuff we're gonna play a few preseason games with the the moments and then we're gonna Hop out of there, you feel me? We're going to take a look at the team. Bo Nix. He's got a, a death. I literally want Jerry Stedham to be the second guy. Fuck Zach Wilson. If anything, we're going to see if we can swing away to get rid of him. Javante Williams, love him. You know, great, great guy. Let's take a look at some of these guys. You know, he's a great running back. They give me all the, you know, this, that, and the fourth. Why he kind of look like Will Anderson Jr., though? Like, But we, you see him. We can look at some of his ratings. Uh, 92 tackle, uh, break tackle, 88 speed. I I feel like his speed is a little higher than that. I don't know. It should be anyways. At least how he plays. Uh, 91 acceleration, 85 agility, 92 carrying, 88 trucking, 82 ball carrying vision, 81 strength, 86 change of direction. So he should be a, a interesting back to play with. You know what I'm saying? And then we got some IJP round like right behind him, which I don't really know how he plays in Madden. I haven't ever used him, so we can check out some of his ratings. 87 speed. So just behind. Uh, Javante Williams, 97 carries, kind of crazy. Can he he can catch out of the backfield though? I'm pretty sure. 74 catching, not really great at pass blocking or anything. 85 strength. Um, he's so he's honestly not a bad back either. So, um, two two good solid running backs, he's probably running backs by committee at this point. We have Cortland Sutton. Uh, and be honest, I'm not really too thrilled about having him on the squad because he. He's for some reason he's so he's so weird, bro. Like he will catch the passes that he shouldn't catch, and he will drop the passes that you would think he would catch. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Um, I don't even know if I actually said that correctly, but I would love to somehow get Jaleel McLaughlin into the mix at some point in time. The reason I say that is really just because when I was um, last year when I had my team, Jaleel McLaughlin had some big games for me, uh, a little here and there. So you know, the defense. Oh well, let's let's talk about the offensive line before we go to the defense. <clears throat> um, and besides Cortland Sutton, sorry, we can go and move on to Marvin Mims. I think he's a great. Great weapon that we're going to use. And Jay, uh, Reynolds as well. He's solid. He came from the Lions, so he should be very good. You know what I'm saying? And then you got Boyles over here. Ben Powers. Mustafa, excuse me. Um, Maneras and McGlinchey. So the offensive line is, is solid as well. Our tight end room is very, you know, mid, piss poor. But, you know, they'll get better. They'll get better. Um right here for the defense 
side of things. The linebackers. So Singleton is is good. He should be like an eighty. Um, Barton, I don't know too much about, but I think he he's he's pretty well rated. Their defense was a lot so much better. They have a sixty six free safety now because they decided they didn't want to re sign um, free safety Justin Simmons. So or so it's like you know it's can't really do nothing about that. They got Pat Sertan, uh, L Wallace. Um and yeah man the defense is looking very like uh bare bones right now but we're going to make it better we're going to get it better for sure um Smith and Marvin Mims I think I'd rather have Marvin Mims start cuz that boy is fast as fuck so uh and he's a dog bro his agility is uh is that's outstanding and I would rather have Marvin Mims in the slot in that slot receiver position I mean, they say the third running back is going to be J- Javante Williams, but I would think it would be Samaj P. Ryan, but I guess not. Um, we can honestly put Jaleel McLaughlin there. So, because I, like I said, I want to have him get some play time. And he's, he's a shorter, smaller back. He's shifty and things of that nature. We also have the rookie Troy Franklin. I don't know if they have his face scan in the game. They do. They don't have him with Durag, though. I wonder if his weight, he got waves in there or whatever. It kind of looked like it a little bit. That's besides the point. Let's check out some of his ratings. 92 speed, 91 acceleration, 80 catching, 77 catching traffic, 73 route, short route running, 72 medium, 76 deep, uh, 78 spe- spectacular catch. So I'm going to be honest. I don't really believe in Troy Franklin like that. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I believe in Bo Nix, but I don't believe in – Troy Franklin, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I, I, I don't know, bro, so it's like, um, you know, I mean, he could pan out and be really good, but I'm just, I'm not, you know, I, I just, I'm not very high on him, but let's hop into these training camp games, and we can take a look at some of them, uh, just so you guys can kind of get the gist of what some of the new stuff that they added and things of that nature, so yeah, let's hop into it. Starting off with the passing. This is like, we y'all have seen this one, so I probably won't go and show this one because this one is like very kind of like mid. Like, I wouldn't even say mid. It's just normal. You know what I'm saying? This is the the same one you always do. He already feels pretty good, like throwing the rock and stuff like that, if that makes sense. Pause on that. But, um yeah, he, he does. It does. It doesn't. It's what He's going to be one of those quarterbacks that I enjoy actually like playing the game with like i seen caleb williams build in the game and he kind of has like a, a different build if that makes sense like it's not like a generic ass trash build that they just cooked up and said oh yeah that's that's caleb williams so he has a different kind of build in the game even though i wouldn't even say that's his actual build in real life but yeah bo nick so far i mean he doesn't look that crazy but it doesn't he doesn't feel bad as far as like the controls and stuff running him around and throwing the ball hey 30 that's cool hopefully um bo Nix can spark a star or a superstar i meant uh out of the first year but i don't know what madden has him preloaded as they probably just have him preloaded as a star just because all right pocket presence um let's get uh jared stedham in there because jared stedham really be getting disrespected and that's my dog man that's my dog former patriot you know what I'm saying? Former Raider. He's a he's a dog, man. He gets disrespected. Like he he literally looks so good at times, and we just never gave him an opportunity. I don't even know why we drafted him if we're not gonna give him the opportunity to play. You know what I'm saying? He clearly can run the offense, but it's okay. Some guys just ain't gonna never. Some guys just never get their shot. So. Mhm. And he's doing pretty good in this drill right here. I mean, he's been in the league for. I don't even know, like five, six years to this point. Now it's been a while since we don't had him on the squad, but we we had him for like at least three years or something like that. Stepping back, uh, come here. Ooh, that boy going crazy. Ooh, ooh. Step back, uh, step up. Ooh, ah, it hit me. Fuck, it hit me. That's okay. It ain't like he was gonna get too much time on the field, anyways. I just wanted my boy to look good for a little bit, man. But we got to retire you, my man. It's all good, man. I'm going to try to get Jared Stidham a Super Bowl. He can get one behind Brady, though, because Brady, I think, as soon as he got drafted, Brady actually left or something like that. It's crazy how long Brady don't really been out of the league to this point. It's been it's going on, what, two years? Woof. Time flies. 
Let's get a. Uh, I want to see if we can get Javante Williams up into like the superstars at this point because I feel like he should be there already. Like maybe I get it. He didn't have a super great year last year, but come on, man, he should definitely have it at least. You know, off. Uh, good juke. Go ahead. Outrun him. Oh yeah, definitely outrun him. Get that dive celebration. I don't even know if you can. It, like it's so hard to get that shit nowadays. I don't even know if you really can. It's almost like you got to come off like a great season. At least that's kind of how they used to do it. Uh, at least how they did it last year. Because at first it was like, oh shit, I can like, if I get it right, like I can get a dev potentially. But now it's like, you won't even get a dev. If you get gold, you can get like three goals in a row, but you still won't get a dev. I don't even really know. I don't really get it myself, but you know. Uh, good move. Broken ankle. See, it's like, can you try different things to make it happen? I don't know what, what you have to get to get a dev at this point, though. I just want to get one. I want to just try to get one. Uh, hey. Because that'll be, that'll be huge. That'll be huge, especially for this team. We already ain't got much going on right now, especially for when it comes to corners. When we go to that corner thing, I'm definitely going to try to get uh, get the corner up. And then, I don't know, we might have to try to put that free safety in the, uh, the short field one because if not, that boy, we're going to be starting off pretty slim. I might have to go pick somebody up in free agency. For the free safety positions just because like i don't know about rolling with no 66 safety bro and uh if not we might just have to make some trades and i'm willing to throw uh zach wilson in a trade to see if i can't find somebody that's uh gonna be you know a free a free safety but it should be some good free safeties in free agency i wouldn't see why it wouldn't be a lot of these guys just be on there out there and they don't be doing nothing yeah. He, he almost had 100,000. And I think even if you get to 100,000, it don't matter. Good ankle breaker, good ankle breaker. Yeah, it don't really matter because we got 10 seconds now. Let me see. Outrun him. We definitely going to get 100,000, but it's like, do we, do we have to get over 100,000 or something? That's it. It's 121. Let's see if we can pop a dev. That'd be cool. I don't think we will, though. I think Javante Williams was a superstar dev last year, and he lost it this year. So, I don't – yeah, I, I didn't expect him to give it to him. Wide receiver battles. See, this is the one that's going to kind of, like, have me like, okay, who do we really – who do we put in this? Like, they got Trey Franklin all the way down here. He's a 71. I'm putting Marvin Mims in this wide receiver battle. And then with the red zone three, I guess we could put Cortland Sutton in there or uh, Josh Reynolds because – I don't know at the same time. Oh, shit. We got Pat Sertan on us, but we too fast. We too fast. Ugh. We too fast for Pat Sertan. We're too fast. Ah, Touchdown. Marvin Mims. I kind of want to give Marvin Mims a cool little number, number two or something. You know what I'm saying? Wait, no. That's Pat Sertan number. I'll give him like a 10 or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's available. 19, though. 19 could. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying? Like. He gonna be one of our dynamic guys, so he gonna be one of the guys we we rely on. Uh, come here, come here. We, cause you remember we um when I don't know if y'all remember the Red River rivalry, but this is one of Caleb's uh guys. At I don't know if yeah I don't know if he was on Houston or on whatever team Caleb started off with Oklahoma. I don't know if he was on Oklahoma or he was at Texas. I can't remember, but he was definitely in that game that was like the opening game because I mean, it was like Marvin Mims Jr. for another touchdown. I was like, hold on, Marvin Mims? Wait, the same Marvin Mims that's on the Broncos right now? And I was looking at it, and yeah, it's him. He was dynamic as hell in college. And in the NFL, he's not bad either. He just doesn't get a chance. He hasn't had a shot to really show it um, completely because he was on a team that got 70 points dropped on the head. So <laughs> it's kind of hard to do anything when you're when you behind like that. Ah, I thought I was going to get it. Okay. Um... Pimp patch here, thirty. I kind of wanna, kind of wanna get rid of Cortland Sutton, but you know what I'm saying. I kind of don't at the same time. Let me see. Any mini money mo. Well, if we can pop him for a dev, dude, he could be a good trade piece to pick up a safety, and maybe a good young receiver too to trade places with somebody. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Do we keep him then? Now, now it's like he's moving really good. His release might be really fire. Um, I ain't even actually look at his stats. Though. We could check him out, but. Let me see. Do we we got to boost some old linemen? Definitely got to. Um, three year pro. Do we get the uh, McGlinchey? This is the left tackle. Oh, that's the right guard. This is the left tackle. Mm. He old though. It's better to get the guy that's young. You know, he still got so much potential. Pause. That's how crazy. That sounds crazy. But no, nah, I mean it really is though. 
Hold on. Right guard. And he's supposed to move fast anyways because he a right guard. You know what I'm saying? That's really his drill. That boy speed, and he fast as hell to be as big as he is. It's just sometimes I've, I've done this drill. It's just kind of hard sometimes to not, not hit the red. And then it's sometimes it's hard to not, like, if that makes sense. Uh, okay. I got, and, like, not aim up on it, right? Uh, fuck. I'm definitely doing that again. I'm going to be honest with y'all boys. But, yeah. Because uh, I got to get his, I got to get him a, a little thing, man. Uh, come here. Mm. Got to get it right. 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 Come here. Come here. Get out of the way. Uh. Uh. Why they do that, though? That should be pissing me off. It's like it, it know I'm trying to go get the goddamn what you call it, and it's still, and it just want to hold me so bad. It don't want me to go get those pluses so bad. I don't get it. I just have to get keep running around, I guess. Like, it don't even make it uh, an obtainable, like, thing. Like, who is this supposed to be? I get it. It's supposed to be hard, but it's like, this one is a little too. It ain't really too much cheese you can do with this one. Okay. I tried it. I almost sold it back. Could the balls be getting faster? And sh Look, how I missed that, though. How I. Okay. Okay. You see that, though? See how they horn me? I'll see y'all boys in the next drill. Yeah, they wouldn't let them get anything higher than a silver. I literally did nothing wrong in that last one. But, yeah, it's fine. We're going to move on to the to the this drill right here. And at least give me one. Nope. Boys don't give a fuck. I see y'all boys though. Um I'ma finish these drills up and then I'ma see y'all in the the other stuff. Um we gonna hop into our first game. And we're gonna um play these some of this uh preseason games. And then we're gonna hop into the rest of the preseason games just so we can continue to get that uh growth from these players so they can lock in and then we're gonna be in the regular season. We didn't get any devs. Makes sense. It's always like it's so hard to get devs in this shit for some reason now. But uh Javante Williams got two uh two XP points. So that should be good towards just his overall boost. We could see if what uh the market is offering for uh for Cortland Sutton. And after that, then I think we could we could definitely hop into the game for sure. Especially being an 85 overall right now. I know he's a little older, so he's 28. But let's see what the market is offering. How is Cody Mock a star, but he's fucking 68? That makes no sense. Sean Murphy, Murphy Bunting. Wouldn't be bad. Would not be bad. He's 27. Tuloy, uh, Tuli, to, uh, to, to Paul, Palatu, Tula Palapatu, um, 21. Mm. George Karloftis, left in, 81, star dev. We do need to help that defensive side and that defensive line. Mm. Kayvon Thibodeau, young, hungry. I would want a receiver from them, though. I'll probably try to get Malik Neighbors. <laughs> and they ain't giving that dude up. I know they're not giving him up because they just drafted him first round, first overall. I mean, we try to make it somewhat realistic, I guess. And I, I, I'm not saying I, – I mean, I feel like they would get rid of um, Cortland. Or they could. If they, if they could, they would, rather. Uh, the Vikings giving away Byron Murphy's 26, 79 overall star death, though. Um, that one doesn't look too bad, if I had to be honest. I just, I need some de receiver depth. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say we could, like, try to offer somebody who's who got some re young receivers or something like that that is willing to give them up. Um... None of these teams even have, like, somebody I would want to take over and be, like, a number one guy. But we won't, we'll just have to kind of be okay with not having that number one guy or our number one guy being Marvin Mims and Josh Reynolds. Because this is receiving core we already know is kind of subpar. But Cortland Sutton is not going to be the answer for sure. 
Um, so let's see what all they are willing to offer. Can we get a second from you guys? Anything? Because we know, I know we're not going to get, I know we're not going to get uh, what you call it, but hey. So it's almost there. Um, what kind of receivers do they have? Sherfield, Prowl. Yeah, nah, I'm good, man. Um, let me see. T. Higgins. I would love to get T. I'd love to get T. Receiver for receiver. Wait, they don't know what it says. It says, this trade will put your team over the salary cap if accepted. Try making a different offer. Slightly over the cap is crazy. I know they're not giving up Jamar Chase. <laughs> they wouldn't do that if they yeah, they wouldn't do that. That'd be fucking crazy. That's a little too unrealistic. Well, we don't want to bring Jerry Judy back. That's for sure. Chris Godwin, though, could be. But I think that'll throw us over the cap for sure. And it worked. Um, I'm pretty sure Chris Godwin is not as high overall as uh, or as older as what you call it as well. And they're both 85. So that worked. We got Chris Godwin now. Uh, it's kind of realistic. Not really realistic. But look, Chris Godwin for the Broncos could be really good. I think it's a great I think it's a great trade. So let me know if you got like it in the, you know, the comments. Let me know if y'all like it. Chris Godwin. I like it. I like it. I like Chris. I like it. I don't know. He ain't heard of nothing either. So I think that's perfect. Chris Godwin, welcome to the team, man. And he's 28. They both the same age. One's just a superstar and one isn't. So and he's better, I would say. I like I like him, you know. Um let's put let's put uh short out elite, short in elite, deep in elite. He already got mid in elite, slot omatic. So he's a slot guy. Mm, so it's all his ratings and stuff more geared towards slot, medium. I mean, not really. I feel like all of it's the same. Yeah, I mean, I think it just depends on what they, what we got him as, you know. Yeah, I like that though. Fourteen, Chris Godwin. Um, yeah. Other than that, man, let's just hop into this first game and see how how everything pans out. Hey, I hope this joke ain't too loud. Playing Ant Richardson. Look at Chris Godwin in the new uni. Okay, yeah, see, they trying to get me copyrighted off rip. I'm about to turn the commentators off for sure. They trying to get me copyrighted with that fucking Drake pedophile music that they playing. They bumping this pedophile music in my ears. I'm cool, bro. Win here. Third and second. Bo next. Finna hand it off to Javante Williams on the far side. On the far side, and we pick it up. Javante Williams picks up the first. Amazing quick little run for the third, for the three-yard pick. Uh, I, well, not three yards, but for the third down conversion. Um, I don't know who we hit here. I mean, we got our slot o -matic guy over there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good pass. Bo Nix with the laser beam pass. I like that. <laughs> That's a laser beam, dog. Hell, yeah. You got uh, Monty. Money Lane over there. Money not Money Lane. Money Money uh Money Jones over there calling the plays and shit. Uh damn they got back there pretty fast. I ain't gonna lie. Liatu Latu, who is that? Amir Speed. I don't know if that's Amir Speed, but that's somebody named Speed. That boy just got back there with some speed for sure. Got Marvin Mims in the slot, got uh Chris Godwin in the slot as well. Um they're coming for Bo. Bo not having enough. None of the guys are getting open, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I was looking, didn't see nobody. Um, probably have to hit Troutman right here, because yeah, we all know that tight end is usually the one who gets open. Never mind, we're gonna dump it off to Jaleel McLaughlin, and he's not able to get away from Jameer, Amir Speed, so we're gonna kick the field goal. That was Franklin, actually. We're gonna kick it in, and it's good. I don't, I forget who their kicker is. Oh, Lutz, Will Lutz, Will Lutz gets it in there. Good shit, Lutz. Um. I'm going to rock out with the match to start off. We ain't going to get too crazy. I also wanted to try to trade for Justin Simmons. Um, kind of, you know, kind of being a little cheesy, but for my user's standpoint. Okay. And that is Josh Downs, and he does not play. Josh Downs do not play. So what we're going to do is we're going to run that 5-2 and see what we can't see do. Ooh. 
Anthony Richardson, you know he liked to run, so. Oh, Pat. Come on now, Pat Sertan. Ain't no way you letting a uh, running back catch that. You're supposed to come downhill. What your, what's your, your X Factor don't help you give you, don't give you no extra boost or nothing, my guy? Just play underneath. Don't get cooked. Don't get cooked. Don't get cooked. Cody Barton, can he get back there? Oh, he can. He can. And he got Anthony Richardson quickly flustered. He had to throw it away. Where's Anthony Richardson dreads at, bro? What are we doing with this game? What is, what's going on, Madden? Y'all boys don't. Like, nobody can have dreads except for super long dreads. Give me him. Come here. Cody Barton with the sack on Anthony T. Richardson. Anthony Richardson. I don't know why I can't even talk. But good shit, boy. Three above three oh. Um finna see it's gonna kick this field goal. Got me over there. Oh not me, but I got Money Lane, Money, Money, Money Jones. I'm gonna start I'm gonna name her Money Lane, bro. Her name's gonna be Money Lane, bro. Money Lane, cause I'm I'm keep saying it. I keep saying it, so I'm gonna say Money Lane over there, man. And get her in there, man. All right, we're back in the game with Jared Stidham, Samaj P. Ryan. We honestly just here. We could try to help out uh, Troy Franklin here. Ooh, look at Troy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I might like Troy. I might like how Troy move in the game. He might, he might, he might got a spot. That nigga might have a spot on the squad. I like how that boy move, man. Hold on. We're going to throw that up with. Uh, come on now. I'm telling you, Jerry Stidham, that nigga, man. I told y'all, boys. Jerry Stidham, that nigga, man. Y'all better. Hey, look. You better be careful. Jerry Stedham, he come for jobs, man. Let me stop. He don't come for jobs. He, he be trying, though. He be trying. But they be hoeing him. So, but let's see if we can get a stop right here. Get him, Singleton. We ain't do that drill for no reason. Get that. Get him. We ain't do that drill for no reason. Let's see. Got a four-yard game. Second and goal. They probably going to run it again. Never mind. Right here. Get him. No, that's an interception. You fucking Mathis. Why you keep wanting me to get third down stop, bro? Who's in anyways? Is Barton in? That's Ellis. Caden Ellis? Okay. Two-minute warning. It's 10-10. We weren't able to do anything. They, won. they didn't put me back in for Jerry Stedham because if I was there, Jerry Stedham would have scored a touchdown. But it's okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get in there. We're going to find a way. We're going to see if we can get a stop on defense. Oh, he fucking just wide open over the middle of the field. And Mo Ali Cox picks up a big one. He's kind of trying to make them luck out a little bit. Let me see if we can't get back. I got to get back there, though. I got to get back there with Singleton. This is one job. Get back there. Get back there. Oh, yeah. We there. No. Mo Ali Cox with a touchdown. All right, bro. Y'all got to really. I got to give me an opportunity to do something, bro. Y'all got to give me an opportunity. Got to give me an opportunity. Got to give me an opportunity. 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 All right. We see Troy Franklin. We got uh, Trotman, I think, is coming out of the backfield. I don't. Okay. My boy Jerry Stidham. Uh. That's DeLucci. That's Greg Dolch. Greg Dolch. DeLucci. I'm <laughs> DeLucci gets it up, picks it up. That's a way. That away. That away. We got to move it. 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 You got to move it. Uh, Philip Dorsett. Y'all don't know about Patriots legends. These are Patriots legends. Patriot to Patriot connection. <laughs> Dorset, Dorset, and got down, got down. Jerry Stedham, man. Philip Dorset, come on, man. He a blazer. He, don't, he a blazer. He don't play. We gotta find a way to get the ball in uh, Troy Franklin's hand. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, wanna hold him like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can't find Greg Dolch though. Mm -mm. We gonna hand it. Oh, we probably had him too. He running that motherfucker. Oh, all right. We ain't got enough time. We ain't got enough time. Call a timeout. We trying to get in the end zone here. Greg Dolch, he might get open. Shit, Tim Patrick might get open for another touchdown. Shit. Gre okay, nope. Nope. Give me that. Ah, come on. At least you get the tackle, Jared. That's on me, Jared. That's on me. I tried to force it to get it to him, and they get down there quick as hell. Uh, I guess we didn't get the ball back, actually. That's what happened. Um, I'm not going to stay in this game too much longer. After this drive, uh, I'm probably going to call it, and then we're going to play the next one. I was, I was finna say, you did all that and you ain't catch that and you let him catch that touchdown. I get it's uh, I get it's my boy uh, Adonai Mitchell, but come on, bro. All right, we gotta stop Mo Ali Cox over the middle, cause he loved going to Mo Ali. He loved going to Mo Ali. Come back and get it, Mathis. 
What are you doing? You're jogging? You're going to like Robbie Gold from Tennessee? The um, Not even from Tennessee, from uh, Miami? Oh, no, 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 from the Beavers? I've, I've, I've played in so many different college team games on the fucking mat, on, on the, the mod that I'm getting everybody confused. Like, come on, man. Get him! You rocker, you, you was Erika. You was Rick. I don't know how you say bro name. That was a cool little, little taco, though. Iyami. I butchered bro name. All right, I'm going to give myself one more offensive possession, though, bro. Let's just be real, because that ain't even fair. That ain't even fair. Who is that? Patrick Mahomes holding, they, hitting the ball, holding the ball for them? They kicked the field goal. Um, I just want to give my guys a chance if they give me a chance to get them a chance, and they did not give me a chance to get them a chance, so we're not going to. Not gonna get a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. All right, Philip Dorsett. Uh, we got Troy Franklin. Probably. Nope. Nope. Get it. Get it. Oh my God. Huh? No. We not gonna just act like he didn't just do some Superman fucking fake ass block. What the? Madden, explain this, dog. Explain this. This nigga jumped. I mean, momentum is a bitch, but damn. Come on, dog. DBs ain't that crazy in the NFL, dog. They're not, especially on the preseason team, bro. This nigga is, he, he will be lucky if he makes the fucking final roster. And you telling me he can do that? Come on, dog. Get, get me out of this game, bro, before I get mad. And, of course, we fucking lose because this game is horrible, but, you know. I can't do nothing about that, bro. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you want me to do. They got my boy Jerry Stidham looking all, looking all, looking all fresh and shit. I ain't know that he had a face scan in the game. That's kind of cool. Um, then you got me getting my first game, and it's an L. Of course, they're gonna try to get a woman an L. Money Lane. They're gonna try to disrespect her. It's okay though, cause we gonna we gonna we gonna come we gonna come back on that. Yeah, we gonna clap back on that. Yeah, we gonna get a Super Bowl. Watch, watch. Uh, let's just look at these stats though. I know Bill Dex went crazy. We ain't come here to see both, but uh, Bronco. So he did have a touchdown, Bill Dex. He ain't do too much, actually. But my boy Jerry, he 14 for 28. That ain't, I mean, that's 50%. But, I mean, he wasn't, it didn't look that bad on paper. Touchdown and an interception. He really could have had more. That was on me. Javante really ain't do nothing. It's per, uh, Tamaj ain't really do nothing either. Um, then you got Greg Dolch, 59, four receptions. Troy Franklin had four receptions for 44. Tim Patrick, 31. He had that tutty. 56 for uh, Philip Dorsett, three for Jaleel McLaughlin, and 22 for Chris Godwin. Yeah, because he had caught that little mean little John right there on um, defense. Let's see. We had how many interceptions? We had one interception by Brandon Jones. like to see that. We had one sack by that boy. You was Ricky. And then two, one and a half by Barton, Barton and Allen, Zach Allen. And, yeah, we had a few TFLs, two TFLs. And then we had a few TFLs right here. We had the most tackles. Uh, Singleton, Singleton for sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see y'all boys in the main menu. All right, boom, look, we back. We in the main menu. Um, we lost to the Colts 30-10. to Y'all already seen it. I changed their name to Monty Lane because I was going to keep saying it regardless. So I'm just that's just going to be the name. Let's see what our new messages say. Playing against the Green Bay. Hold on. He said, ready for the press conference this week? I assume they're going to ask me about position battles. They might. Just be careful what you commit to if they do got it all right so they pretty much gonna hit me with some position battle uh questions about nothing so we're gonna figure out what it's gonna be about let's see press conference training camp uh, i don't know what position battles because ain't nobody competing <laughs> i don't see nobody competing with me let me see you should be having a l uh left end position battle according to the okay whatever which that will determine the winner of the battle between john franklin myers and Matt matthew jennings Matt Jennings. Uh, I'm going to say who get the most sacks because the sacks is what matter. Getting back to that quarterback, to me, is what is ultimately the best thing. Monty Lane, to Perfect. Well, check back in a few weeks. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they had more questions. Uh, I kind of just skipped them. Let's upgrade some players, and then we're going to do our weekly strategy, and then we're just going to hop into that next uh, next game. Riley De Dixon. Dixon. Hey, he kind of looked fresh though. I ain't so I didn't know they had the uh the thing the face scan for Jerry Stidham in here. That was so smooth with seeing him like walk off the field like no homo, but it was smooth seeing him like come off the field or whatever. I was like, damn, they got his face scan in the game. I mean, he had been in the league for a little bit, but yeah, I ain't know they were doing my boy like that. Let's go to the weekly strategies. Um, I should do these mini games just so Bo Nex got all the bow tracks, you know what I'm saying? But 
at the same time. Troy Franklin ain't looking bad either. I'm just going to do – I'm going to do it just because. Um, let's do pass skeleton just so we can get more comfortable with playing with Bo Nix and stuff like that. Uh, I'll see y'all at the game, though. All right, let's see if we got any. Okay, we got some player upgrades before we hop into this pre next preseason matchup. Hopefully, we can get one preseason matchup when got this Bo Nix upgrade. Hey, got to get the Bo Nix upgrade. Got to. He's playing like a 74 right now. They need to add the uh, above leg uh, knee thing for the NFL for the NFL game. Oh, we're just adding it for the uh, other one. You know what I'm saying? Adam Troutman. I think he was the guy who was <clears throat> playing like most of the snaps. So it'll definitely be good to get him some his upgrades up. And other than that, we're just probably gonna let the the what you call it do it. Yep. I'm ready to hop into this game against uh, Jordan Jordan Love real quick. Jordan Love, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's rock. I'm going to go out there with some fresh unis. I'm be honest. I'm be honest. I like the presentation, though. It's probably going to get old, but I like the new presentation. It kind of it shows you just like a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Look, like, that's kind of cool. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that ain't horrendous. Who is that? Pratt. Michael Pratt. Oh, that's who they drafted? Them boy, love trying to copyright me with this music. I'm going to be honest. All right, let's go. Playing the moment. We playing Jordan Love. We got this zone coverage. He's got all his weapons in. He's got to pick up the uh, first off this third and twelve, and see if we can't get to stop Cody Barton. Oh my God! Yes. Who is that at our at our safety position? Who just made that play? I know it ain't Justin Simmons. It's Jones. Oh, that's the uh, young buck. That's the young dude. That I had in the training, that uh, free safety that I tried to get to a superstar. That was a big play he made. We're finna hand this off to Javante Williams. They got us in on offense to Bo with Bo Nix. Bo Nix with all, okay. Well, I tried to juke, but I guess he ain't, Javante ain't got all the tracks. We're gonna run some type of uh, what they call this. Um, some type of, uh, I thought it was play action, it's not. But we were able to pick up the first with Chris Godwin. It's a great pass by Bo Nix. Bo, leave it. Bo, leave it, man. I like the outs here, um, but we might have to hit Adam Troutman or somebody. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good pass. It's not quite fast enough to get out, run the competition, but honestly, we could probably try to find somebody like that in this upcoming year's uh, draft. But, hey, a pickup is a pickup. I can't be too mad. This is not an incredibly good team. But, oh, get off me. Ah, third and two. Not able to get it. I had to try to tell that boy, get off me. But it didn't work. I don't know how fast. Josh Reynolds isn't that fast, so I don't think he's beating anyone over the top. But we might as well try. Good catch. Greg Dolch. Dolch dropped it. That was money, actually. We're going for it. It's fourth and two. Jaleel McLaughlin's in the game. Um, We're going to have him run a little, little swing over there. We got Marvin Mims over the middle right here. He's so fast, he picks it up. That's a good conversion right there, fourth and down. Fourth down. So I don't know if I'm going to be like how I usually am and I go for fourth downs all the time, but I shouldn't be like that. But knowing me, you know me. Y'all know me, man. If you watch my content, look, I like to go for it. <laughs> I like to go for it, especially like if I feel like I got to hold. But sometimes it don't be worth it because it's like, bro, if, what's the point? If you ain't going to get it as Marvin Mims picks up a nice gain. He just continues to move the rock. Hopefully we uh, get in the end zone right here. Up some, some, uh, get some attributes, get some XP points. You know what I'm saying? Got to at some point. Mm-hmm. Just fall to the earth. Just fall to the earth. There's no reason to uh, take a risk and potentially fumble. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't think he would, you know, it's never... It's not out of the realm of possibility. Bo Nix tries to get out of there. He's not able to get anywhere. Rashad Gary gets a hit, takes him down. Um, I don't know if we can try to hit him underneath the Reynolds right here or hit Marvin over the top, but we're going to have to go with the Reynolds pass, and it's no good. We'll take our field goal here just because we don't have to go on a touchdown. Let's just be real. And we get it in. That's good. Now they want to play freaking uh, another song that is trying to copyright me, Ballin'. 
Like, bro, I get it. If they got the noises in their school, well, let 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 Roddy Rich tell Roddy Rich don't don't copyright me that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, good hit. Who is that? 30, 33, 32, 33, 39. That boy just made a play. Hell yeah. That's how you stay on the roster, but that's how you stay on the roster. Oh, Cody was right there. Cody was close. I mean, he wasn't super close. I gotta um, try to make a trade for Justin Simmons after this. Y'all gotta remind me. Gotta remind me. Gotta remind me. Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons. Mhm. Mm no, I was gonna say he just lighted us up. All right, so. Let's see if we can get a block here. That's Abrams drain right here. The rookie with the fresh drip on that, I, you know, the corner drip that I like. He ain't getting back there, but it's fine. It's 3-3. Three, three. We're both on one. This team is technically better than us on paper, but we got to make sure we lock in. Okay. He's still in the game. Love to see it. Uh, I probably go Marvin Mims here or Trotman. Just depends on who's getting open. And we found Trotman, and that's a touchdown for Bo Nix. Believe it, Adam Troutman. Bo Nix connection. That's why I was saying, bro, we got to get that. That's why we got to get his, his up, man. Because for right now, at least, he's going to be our tight end. Bo Nix, Adam Troutman. Look at the reading by Bo Nix. I'm just saying, I'm telling you, I'll be, I be reading these defenses, bro. Y'all, look, you got to, man. You got to take what's there. You got to take what's given. Now, I ain't going to lie, Marvin was not there. So I was kind of going to be cooked either way. Yes, sir. Tell him, Kaden. That's Caden? No, that's Barton. Never mind. I think I remember Caden Ellis being uh, 55 for the Falcons or something. I don't know. Barton. Will Barton. Cody Barton. One of them. He barking. He barking something. I got Josh Jacobs in my fantasy, so I need him to cook this year. I ain't going to lie. Which he's been cooking. Last year was the only reason he didn't cook because he got hurt. So he did get a little pay. I don't know how much he got paid, but he got paid a little bit. So he should be good. He should be, you know what I'm saying, trying to. Oh, I'm going to say Pat Sertain. Come on, man. Out of way, defense. Nah, I get it. This this is their starting O. I don't care. Like, this is their starting O. If we can beat them, they made the playoffs last year. We did it. So that says a lot. You know what I'm saying? This is on all Madden, too. So, you know. We're going to take a chance, take a shot right here, maybe. I doubt it. Probably hit underneath to fucking. Uh... Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Look at that. You hear the fans? They're roaring. They love it. 175 yards. A touchdown for Bo Nix. Come on, man. They love it. They loving it. They loving it over here. Uh-huh. Marvin Mims. Touchdown. Another Bo Nix touchdown. Bo, leave it. I'm going to say it every time he scored a touchdown this season. So y'all might as well just get used to Bo, leave it. Come on, man. Uh, they over here doing that, that, uh, that, that, that one dance. Not the Drake song. Uh, damn, they gonna just let him go down there and score and not give me an opportunity to stop them on defense again? They lame for that. Uh, let's see, Greg Deloach. Okay, so Jared Stidham, man. We're gonna see if Jared Stidham can make some plays. Make some plays. Philip Dorsett, the Patriot, Patriot connection. Dorsett to Jared Stidham. Let me stop. <laughs> All right, we got some Maj P. Ryan in. Let's hand it off to him. Because he's still going to be getting – I think he's going to be splitting carries with Javante. Uh, he might not, though, because I think I got Javante at power and the other one back as well. So, he probably won't be splitting too many carries, I'm going to be honest. And it off. So, my JP Ryan trying to outrun a guy. Not quite able to. Makes that third and nine. He didn't really have the hole, so I had to kind of, like, convert it and change it. So, I'm a little different, if that makes sense. I want to put uh, him on a slant. See if Troy Franklin can cook right here. Troy Franklin almost gets in, not quite able to hold on to it. Um, I trust and believe in the defense. It's fourth down and goal. I want to score here. Let's do it. Oh, my God. I so, so hard. I so like a motherfucker. I just threw an interception with Jerry Stidham. Oh, my gosh. But the defense comes up with a stop. Gives Jared Stidham another opportunity to show what he can do. Okay. Okay. Right. No way. The Patriot Patriot connection is supposed to be there. That was supposed to be money. It's all good. Uh, we probably hit Troy Franklin right here. Either him or Samaji. 
Fuck, I'm forcing it. 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 I'm literally forcing it. Tim Patrick, if you don't hawk down this linebacker, bro. Why are you even in the game if you can't hawk down this linebacker? Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm forcing it. It's, it's my fault if we lose. I, it's definitely my fault. But we keep getting down here in the red zone for some reason. So I'm just going to hand it off so we can. I'm making Jerry Stidham just look so bad. And Jerry Stidham makes very good plays. Calculate. What the? F that should have been a touchdown. What are we doing here? They're trying to sell me a little bit. Send him on this jet sweep. Fake it. Touchdown. Jesus. We should have been took the lead. Our defense is playing lights the fuck out. You feel me? Oh, they were. They had must have got another interception or something. I don't know. Oh, this is Michael Pratt. This the uh, that guy, man. So they got Caden Ellis and then Singleton in right here. Let me see Singleton. Okay. Get him. How to? He really stiff armed him. I think they're gonna. Okay, they're gonna go for it. Okay. She so took tough cookies. Uh, they're running either up the middle or left. So I'm going up the middle. Never mind. They're running right. Nope, they're running up the middle. And they don't get it. That away, team. Oh, my God. They didn't put me in on offense. Okay, I was going to say, they literally could literally put me in on offense right there. Unless it was an interception or something that, that caused for it to just completely be dis derailed. But, okay. Good move. Good move. Second and seven. Jared, this is your last. Op Let me stop. I, I am not blaming that on Jared. I am forcing it. I am not blaming it on Jared at all. Good pass out of the backfield. Truck him. Not quite able to knock down whoever that, that safety is. Thinks he's a big baller, big baller, big baller brand, apparently. Got Tim Patrick in the slot over here. He might, he didn't beat anybody. No one beat anybody. He kind of beat him on that last little stint, but it, I don't know where I would have got the ball off in time. They had number 90 coming off the edge. I don't know who that is. Uh, Troy Franklin might be the guy here. Never mind. We're going to hit Phillip. Because you know that Patriot, the Patriot connection. I'm going to bring it up every time. I throw it with Jared Stidham and it completes to Philip Dorsett. Um, Greg DeLucci, Dol Dolch right there. Oh, yeah. Dot. Money. Money. Oh, my God. That was an amazing play. Amazing pass. Because you, know, you know what I mean? It's that. It's that. It's like they know each other, you know? Okay. Outrun him. Outrun him. Nope. He was not able to outrun him in alignment. Didn't give us any blocks. So we didn't pick up much off that. Actually, we lost yards off that. Um, Troy Franklin and Philip Dorsett probably hit the underneath guys right here. Oh my gosh, dog! Where is these fucking guys coming from, bro? This just pissing me off because they just like spawning out of nowhere. Like play defense, bro. Like, this game is kind of sucking my dick right now. Like no, like all Diddy. Like it's fucking sucking my dick right now. Like calm down, bro. I'm like, I'm, it's not that deep, bro. I promise you. Troy Franklin might be able to beat the DVs down the sideline. Touchdown. That away, kid. That away. Let me stop. Uh, but now, yeah, great, great play. Great touchdown. It's about time, Jared. You took, you, you threw like three interceptions. All of them my faults because I'm fortunate. But at the same time, the game is kind of hoeing you a little bit. I'm going to be honest. They're trying to see you with the best coverages, the best DBs, the best dis defenses. It's like, okay, bro, like, calm down, bro. Like, shit, not that deep, bro. That's so, okay. I told you we do them tackle, chase tackle drills for no reason now, uh, Singleton. I'm telling you. Oh, I had to make sure my jump was still uh, recording. Go, oh, Mike. No way. I'm spamming triangle. And Smith just said, uh, I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm good, brother. I'm not going anywhere near that ball. Are you crazy, dude? If you don't go up and get that damn ball for you not have a job? That's a good that's a good way to lose your job right there. Out of way. I had to start hitting them hit sticks. That's Marshawn Lloyd. He, he a little bit of uh, I ain't gonna disrespect, bro. He's a short, he is kind of short though. That away, who is that? 50 ew. That might be ew. <laughs> Let me stop. Good, good tackle though. Good tackle. I would love to send a butts, but I'm not gonna send one. Mm-hmm. Who is this guy? He's getting off the blocks. I understand these are not the best linemen, but he is cooking. Abraham! Abraham! That's supposed to be your pick to get you that XP push you need, man. Hey, we got our first win, though, against Green Bay, against Matt LaFleur. Matt LaFleur. Let's get it. Monty Lane got her first win as the first female head coach of the NFL. 
let me tell you, that is a big deal. That is a big deal. If you don't know, now you know. In word, <laughs> that's a big deal. Naysayer. <laughs> let me stop. Uh, let's look at the stats, though. Uh, yeah, he played abysmal. But he had a touchdown. Could have had more on me. Bo Nix played amazing. Looking really good. 13 for 21, 197, and 61 completion percentage for two touchdowns, no interceptions, three interceptions, and one touchdown for Jerry Stidham. Not quite his day, I'm going to be honest. Receiving, rushing, we didn't really have much. Receiving, though, Philip Dorsett, four receptions for 73 yards. Marvin Mims, 60 uh, yards for four receptions. Three receptions for 89 yards for Troy Franklin. So we had it there. It was there. And we got touchdowns for Adam Trotman as well. Defensively, let's check it out. Abram Ham. Chris Abraham's drain. I'm going to just start calling bro Chris. But Chris Abraham's drain. He got the six solos, two assists, eight total. Uh, the sacks kind of went a little crazy. Jonah, that was Jonah Ellis? Yes, it was. Jonah Ellis coming off that ad, man. And Zach Allen got the, got the sacks. So we had like three, four sacks, I guess, because it's like half sacks. That still would be four. That still would be three. I can't count. Um, we had one interception, two interceptions. Uh, we didn't have uh, we had two pass deflections as well, one interception and total tackles nine by Singleton. He had six, but he had a total of nine, and so is eight for uh, Chris Abraham's drain. And yeah, man, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next game, bro. Next week we gotta go uh, trade. We'll see if we can get a trade for Justin Simmons. Now, give me don't get me wrong. Singleton is doing his thing. He's looking good. He's just old. And if we can, why, why not boost up? You know what I'm saying? The the, the the greater the greater the greater good you know what I'm saying the greater good for the team I'm trying to make the team great man you know what I'm saying and he can help make the team great you know what I'm saying so let's see if we can find a trade for that boy and I understand they just got him like what last year and they might not want to really get rid of him or if they are they not really looking that's the thing he's not super high overall anymore uh, like he used to be yeah, he's to 76 which is I'm not sure if that's better than Alex Singleton there are no trade packages for him they need a quarterback center Right guard, right in. Uh, let's get rid of Zach Wilson. Let's see if they'll take Zach Wilson. Let's see. Zach Wilson. They said hell no. Um, right in to right guard. So we do have, like, some left in the battles going on or something, it was saying. So it's Franklin Myers versus Hengesy? Oh, oh, hell no. That, that, no. I know it ain't him. I know it ain't him and him. Mo Rock, Mo, <laughs> Malcolm Roach. Kind of name is that? Um, but we're gonna put Roach in there. Let's see what they say about Roach. It's close. They are. They it's close for Roach. Um, and they need a center and a right guard. So let's see what we got for our right guards. Let's see what we got for centers. Uh, we uh, we could try to get him the uh, Calvin Throatman Throatman <laughs> Throcker Throcker Morton. That's a crazy name. I'm gonna be honest. What else we need? We need some. You know what I'm saying? We need some. We need some help. Shit. Let me see. Tight end, free safety. We don't want that. We done deal. Jesus, like Jesus, bro. All you got was a fucking a fourth and a and a seventh of twenty twenty six. Like it, I promise you, you're not getting nothing from what you get. I'm be able to flip those seven rounders and I'm gonna be able to make some some buku buku bucks for those, bro. All right. Now that we did that. Let's make sure this is still recording. Now that we did that, we could technically put him at free because he can. He is slotted to play everywhere. But I have to go in there and change him, I guess. So Isaiah, I would like to have him at his normal position. But the thing about Isaiah is he can play everywhere. And I don't mind doing a position change for him and making him, you know, a free safety if he can play there. Let's check his ratings out. What would he be? He's a normal dev, so it really doesn't matter, does it? He could probably become one of the best safeties to ever play the game, though, I'll be honest. Yeah, he jumped up to an 80 overall as a free safety, so now he's going to be playing free safety for us. It doesn't really matter because he should, now that I change his position, he should be at the top. <laughs> Look at, uh, So when I change his position, he just looks completely different now? That's what we're doing? You can't change, you can't change motherfuckers? Like, he ain't even got the face no more. It doesn't matter. We know who he is. As Isaiah Simmons. We got Isaiah Simmons over there. Playing the playing our free safety at eighty. Look, I'm building this team, bro. I'm making y'all making y'all be better, bro. I'm helping y'all get better, bro. All right, next preseason game we got the 
Cardinals. And then that'll be it for this video. And then after that, that'll be the first. We'll be at the first, first game of the week, first game of the season. So, yeah, uh, we're going to do our weekly strategies, and I'll see y'all boys in the game. Well, we're in the second half of this game. Uh, <laughs> I kind of sold y'all back just a little bit. But uh, we're in the second half of the game. I forgot to unpause my recording. But, uh, yeah, so y'all already know Justin uh, – Isaiah Simmons is on the team, though. We just – you just missed the first half. And nothing's really happening that crazy besides uh, Cooper number zero. I was talking shit about him, and he caught an uh, interception. And they're kind of hoing us on defense a little bit. Uh, but – because we're getting back there and making plays. But offensively, uh, we, we're not really doing much. So you guys didn't miss much at all. Um, Chris Godwin made some big plays, or he, he has some big plays drawn up for him. And, of course, Jaleel McLaughlin Juke is so slow. Come on, bro. Just get it just get it up the gut, man. Just 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 run the ball up the gut, man. Try to, I tried to juke with him. Tried to make some shake. Couldn't make none shake. Xavier and Collins trying to do too much. Uh, hopefully, we just pick up this first right here, and we're not able to. And we were just not able to. Defense made a play, though. Or I thought they made a play. We got third down and seven. Let's see. Singleton is the guy we're going to be on. And we get an interception. I don't know what Kyler Murray was thinking throwing that right there. Is he stupid? I hope he don't play like that when I put him in for uh <laughs> for CJ Stroud. Boy need to be out there making plays whenever I got him. Oh, oh, come here. Ah, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> and they going crazy with the celebrations. I'm fucking with the celebrations. The Sellies. Is Jared Stidham in? Oh, he is in now. So Bowden Demo Dix uh stuff is a little done now. Who that is? Crow? Yep, you're cut. <laughs> you're cut. <laughs> you're cut. We got too many white tight ends on this team. <laughs> there, he's cut. Not enough of y'all can catch the ball. Okay, all right, Dolch, you boy, <laughs> you, you, you keep your job off that one. God is that you drop it, cut. <laughs> I've been getting ready on going a cutting spree. Motherfuckers gonna be cut left and right. Okay, yeah, it makes bus. That makes a lot of sense right there. I was looking at you know trying to get him in the end zone right there, but I couldn't quite get him in there. It's all good. Uh, we're going to hand it off to Samaj right here. Samaj P. Ryan, him being patient with his blocks. Tried to get a little spin move. Didn't quite work. Got up to third and one. And he's knocking right at the door. If we pick this up, we'll be able to get a, at least a first and goal and stuff, too. So we ain't even got to, like, force it. You know what I'm saying? So we we'll just hand it off to Samaj. Samaj gets a great, easy little touchdown right there to take the lead. Or well, I guess we're not actually taking the lead because of somebody missed the field goal for some reason. Or not even a field goal, but a PAT. Come on, bro. Who misses PATs? Apparently this guy. Who is this Clayton Tune back here? Get back here and make the play. Yes, sir. First and 10. Hey, we knocking them boys back, though. I don't know who 33 is supposed to be. Is that Clement? Clement. Oh, that's Desmond Ritter. I, did he get traded to the Cardinals? I thought he got traded somewhere else. I don't know what he got traded to. But Desmond Ritter, I mean, he's an NFL, you know, was an NFL starting quarterback. So we can't underestimate him for sure. Got Griffith. Yeah, we're using Griffith, even though we got Singleton right there. We're going to let Singleton stay in his zone. We're going to try to cover the middle of the field, make make a play if we have to. I was fishing to say. I was fishing to say. There's no way he just broke that tackle. But he did almost break it, but he fell down. Madden mechanics, man. Got to love him. They will take the lead right there, but hopefully we get back on offense. Yep, they allowing us to take the whole drive. Two-minute drill with Jared Stidham. Um... Dolch could get open here. He did. So Jared Stidham will have another big, big yard gain. Put us in a great, great range. I don't know if there was no timeout, so I don't know why the clock has stopped. But, you know, maybe they changed the NFL rules as they do tend to do sometimes. That's a good setup of blocks right there. Good juke. Good move by Samaj P. Ryan. Now the clock is moving again. Like I said, I don't understand what happened. Oh, maybe it was the two-minute warning. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Uh, yes, sir. Get the ball to Tim Patrick. Tim Patrick kind of moves a little smooth. I kind of like how Tim Patrick moves. That boy kind of move a little smooth, a little smooth, smoothing it. But this offense, we can at least get in the end zone. Let's see. Get in there. It's almost in there. Get back on the ball, Jared. Let's go. Let's go. I don't need you blowing no wind out. You got us down in here. Now it's time to just finish it off. Get in there with Samaj P. Ryan. Ah! 
Yes, sir. Even though they got a minute left to go in the game, they still have an opportunity to go down and score. So we got to play over the top, fellas, and not let them get us. Let's do it. Don't give me a hug. Don't give me a hug. Okay. Yes, sir. Who got back there? Who was that? 91 and 42. Okay. Yeah, boy, it's just the time. Just the time for y'all to get y'all XP boost up and ball out. You feel me? So, y'all got to make plays at the end of the day. Let's see, man. I'm trying to probably hit him right here. Desmond Ritter got some wheels. Not able to pick up the first. They're running out of time. I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they go out. So, we're going to go up and out because they want to. Waste the clock a little bit. Get him before he got out of bounds. And we were not able to get him before he got out of bounds to let the clock run out. I do have the accelerated clock off, so it will give them time to be able to make things work. I'll, I've learned you don't need accelerated clock. It can make the game feel like a full game. And you have enough time to make plays. And Singleton makes a play and gets his second interception of the game. Let's go, man. Alex Singleton, he kind of balling right now, balling like he played for Boston. Just to think, I was going to replace him with Isaiah Simmons. He would have been so T. I mean, he is old. He, like, in his year 30 game. Like, but it's like, I was literally going to get rid of it, bro. I ain't going to lie. I was literally going to get rid of it. Let's see. Let's continue to the next moment. But that should be game. Oh, they got us in. All right. We should have put Zach Wilson in, gave him a little something. You know what I'm saying? Because he definitely, you know, he needs some type of action. We ain't paying him for no reason, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Troy Franklin not able to hold on, but a penalty, and that will be holding on the offense. I knew it seemed like we had a little too much time back there because he shouldn't have got open like that. We're going to just uh, – we can continue to try to make plays with Jared because at the end of the day, he's not going to get too many more snaps. So we might as well help him out, you know what I'm saying? They caught another timeout, make that fourth and five. We're going to play this moment. I don't know. I mean, they ain't got much time anyways. The only way they could win this is if they, we throw a pick six. And we're not going to do that, right? And we throw a pick. I'm going to say, but it's not a pick six. But it's fine, you know make mistakes money lane gets 315 passing yards this week not quite 400 but you know we tried we tried to get it money lane does get her second win though of her young nfl career so she is officially one or two and one in the preseason jared finishes it off yes he threw an interception to finish it but it does not matter bo next finds chris godwin that's the one y'all miss other than that, I don't think Bo had too many other big plays. But Singleton was balling out today. He had two interceptions that were crucial when we needed him. And then Samaj P. Ryan also had two rushing touchdowns as well. Uh, Javante, he was getting kind of clobbered back there. I ain't going to lie. But it's fine. We just got to continue to build up the offense. And then, yeah, Marvin Harrison had that one touchdown right there, as y'all can see from the highlights. Let's look at the stats, though. So, first of all, I don't see how Kyler had the best game, but 13 for 20, 118, 65 completion percentage, one touchdown, no interceptions. Then you got nine uh, attempts, three, uh, 13, nine completions, 13 attempts, 125 yards, no, no touchdowns, but an interception. He should have had more than that with that big catch from Troy Franklin, but he dropped it. Samaja had two rushing touchdowns, and Javante Williams had zero, but they both pretty much had showed the same thing. Not really much time to do anything, rather. Um,. Chris Godwin, he had that one touchdown. The yards today were not too crazy. Greg Dolch had that big play. Um, but mostly it was just spread it around between everybody. Defense. We had Chris Abrams drain again, balling out, having the best stats of the day. Who had led us in sacks? Jonathan Cooper, he also had an interception that went back for 45 yards. And then you had DJ Jones that had a sack. But was he the only one who had an interception? No, because I forgot Alex Singleton did have two interceptions. Um, but, yeah, other than that, pass deflections, I think they gave one to Pat Sertain. Oh, they gave it to Jonah Ellis, and Pat Sertain didn't have one. Okay. So, other than that, yeah, man, total tackles will go to Jonathan Abrams. Solos go to John, uh, Chris Abrams. I don't know why I said Jonathan Abrams, but Chris Abrams. So, he was balling. Hopefully, he gets some, like, really big xp boost for balling for like two straight weeks so we'll see so dj jones i think that sack gave him a little xp boost where he was able to get the upgrade so now he's a 77 overall that helps you know anything helps every little thing helps but i think he's a little older he's 29 so we're not gonna 
Rebuild long term sense is not going to be crazy, but and then these fucking tackles and centers that ain't going to never get to play because they're not that good. But yeah, but you know, we got to just grow our team. Uh, other than that, we can use our staff points. Let's definitely build upon Monty Lane's coaching tree because if we don't, then it's kind of going to be cooked a little bit. Uh, so we're going to start off with the little easy one and then staff modifications and things like that. And yeah, we just got to start re- meet, meeting our goals for the game so we can get more coaching points because that's ultimately how we're going to do it. And heading to team mini room now. Be right there. You ready for the team culture speech? No, we do this year, every year. Okay, I'm ready. Well, let me ask him, what should I focus on? Let's see. He said, pick out the thing that you want this team to embrace, being physical or explosive or playing smart football all year. Got it. I think with us, I would love to be explosive. But I think for if we want to make the playoffs, which is our goal, just to make the playoffs, I think we have to be smart. This morning, I want to talk to you about our team culture. Our culture defines how we play every single week. I can't read for some reason. What culture do you want us to embrace? Bo Nick says. I want us to be smart, you know, be disciplined. Let's not make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? We'll play smart and discipline. That's how I'm saying. On offense, we'll be great. And intangibles on defense. Okay, I couldn't even finish reading it. Great. Yeah, I mean, I think that's smart. Let's start this season off right. So, discipline culture. Your players will receive three-plus boosts to enter or the entire season in pursuit and play recognition on defense and carrying on offense. Hell yeah. Out of way. So, I mean, it's just the little things like that that I feel like matter for me. Now we're at our first week, and this is where we're going to end the video. But we're going to kind of see what we're heading into before get a little sneak, little preview, and then we to, I guess set up the draft class as well. Uh, we're just gonna run with a. We're gonna download it and then because I know somebody got the the fucking draft class on there already, so I might have to put in like Shader, them boys, you know, Travis Hunter, maybe. Coach, the fans are curious how you handle your uh, rookie QB's development. What do you mean by that? That's not what she said, but that's what I'm saying. In the past, teams have had uh, tremendous success, and if a rookie sits, okay. Will you play your rookie QB this season or let him sit for a year and develop much faster? Um, I'm going to sit him. I'm going to play him, bro. I mean, he's Bo Nix, bro. He may have to play for us this year. Just be be that simple, you know. Are you sure you'd be missing out on a lot of development? I'm sure. I'm not going to um, sit him. He's probably going to play at some point for us. Great. Good luck developing him based on his performance on the field. Thank you. We got another media in- interview. They just wanted to talk about Bo Nix playing in the leg and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Uh, practice on the we're on the practice field. Y'all don't really get to see the practice field much, huh? Let me see. Coach, going into the season, what are the area of team are you worried about the most? Mm, uh, I'm not super worried. I guess I would say offense. I feel like our running backs are not super explosive. So if the offense is weaker, what part of the defense is the strongest? I would say maybe our pass defense, maybe. We did pretty good in the run game. Can you be more specific? Our corners. Our corners are the backbone of our defense. What would a successful season look like statistically? Uh, care our starting cornerbacks end up with 10 interceptions, give up less than 3,500 passing yards this season. Thanks. We'll check back at the end of the season. Thank you. Right direction. You promised that your team would give up less than 3,500 passing yards this season. Uh, we'll see about that, but <laughs> we'll see about that. But you know, uh, yeah, I mean, the team looks like this. Bo Nix is starting off at us a 73, 70 plus, plus one with the 74. Uh, we got a Chris Gow and Marvin Mims, Josh Reynolds, you know. Um, I could try to see if we could swing Josh Reynolds for a better player, but ultimately the team doesn't look that bad starting off. We can see what we can get for Josh Reynolds. Maybe we can get like a starting D tackle. That will be uh, nice, but let me see. Let me check it real quick. Let me just try because he's a 78, but he's 29, so he doesn't offer a lot of value. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. 72 left guard wouldn't be bad. Center, 74. We kind of do need a better center. John Felicio would be kind of good. Center would not be bad, but 
the 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 rating that we got him. I would at least like to go rating for rating. You know what I'm saying? But Josh Reynolds would be a solid number two. We'll we'll have to just stick with bro for now, unless the free agency has some um, centers that are a little high overall. Then in that case, we'll just sign them. And we are still paying Russ. I forget. I don't know if they affected that in the game, but I would like to think they did. So let's see who's in the free agency though. Kareem Hunt's here. Oh, I was gonna say DeAndre Hopkins. Jerry McKinnon. JC Jackson's here. What? He must be injured. I mean, it's some it's a lot of good guys here. Cordell Patterson. Yeah, the best center is a 70 something. Best right guard is a 71. I mean, could he play? Could he play center? He's 6'3, so he's not that big. 12 years, 35 years old. 86 string, 80 pass blocking, 68 run block. I don't know. I don't know if I'm willing to take that risk. And he's old as dirt for having that long. Dude's 42 years old. Jason Peters, that's crazy. 35. Yeah, a lot of these cats are a little older, so it's kind of like there's no reason to even mess with it. But I'll holler at y'all boys next time, man. We'll be playing against the Seahawks in our first game of the season. I think that could, we can get that win. I genuinely do. I don't care about that overall. I think if we play smart, make plays when we need it, and get touchdowns, at least two, at least two, at most four, we can win the game for sure. Um, but it's been your boy. I'll send you, man, and I'm out. Bam.